Okay, so our cheesy seven durian pizza is here. Yeah. So we are gonna like prank <laughs> one of our colleagues who is a durian hater. We got a blindfold. Yeah, let's go. We have something for you to try. So, um, can you put on a blindfold and guess this flavor? So it's free food, don't worry. Oh, it's really nice. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are still friends, right? <laughs> Hi guys! Hello. Hi! Every day, I'm a freaking meat lover eh, because I hate veggies, so I eat a lot of meat. <laughs> okay, not lah, every meat I got meat one. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I like a lot of meat. The beef on the Korean barbecue is so Oh, I wagyu that like, oh, I know where this is going. going. I want to review the challenge, but what? But what it's so obvious. Yes. 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 What do you yeah. think? I, I would like to say that I already did a vegan challenge on the smartlocal.com. Oh, you did? If you make me do one sentence, I'm a vegetarian. What I learned about myself is that I can do vegetarian. I did, I did. I don't recall oh. that I said that. I saw studies that say like, plants actually feel pain. Psych! <laughs> so you cannot eat anything! <laughs> so then the leaf like tip to me. Maybe listen closely to the leaf of f. <laughs> <laughs> Healthier <laughs> life la. Like animal cruelty. La. Or even like religious purposes. Religious oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ask Mars why she became vegetarian. Hi everyone, my name is Mars. I am 26 years old this year and I am a vegetarian. I wanted to be vegetarian to reduce my carbon footprint. And the reason why that works when you're a vegetarian is because a plant-based diet generally produces lesser carbon emissions as compared to a meat-based diet. I was feeling very, very strongly about environmental awareness and sustainability. I would say that opting for a vegetarian diet is something that everyone can do and should give it a go. But I would say the experience has been super positive so far. I feel like my actions and my beliefs are more aligned and therefore this is a decision that I would ne probably never regret. Like. very very hungry but I don't know what to eat because I'm like a meat lover and I've never been a vegetarian before <laughs> I'm gonna ask the rest what they're gonna eat Okay, we have decided that we are going to order pizza for lunch Actually, when I think of vegetarian food pizza is not not even one of the first things that comes to mind So, but if it's you... good that we can eat pizza Oh, cheesy! Cheesy is not okay, 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 okay This I like, looks so I like, good I like, I like, I like. This looks so good Hawaiian also. Is it cheesy seven durian? Oh my god. Yeah. Do you have the internet? I do eat durian. I do eat durian. I don't mind. I don't mind. I eat durian. Yeah, I love their drumlets. Yeah, the drumlets there. Then I go market in Tapao. Oh, you want a Tapao? Okay, I'm buying drinks. Okay, we got our lunch. Let's wait for the food to come. It's the red. I can smell it already. I can smell it. Eh, eh, eh. It's my meat. Oh, no, it's tomato. Oh, shit. Super cheesy, no, super cheesy. Tomato. 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 Mmm! Interesting, man. Eh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I like, I like. Are we all durian lovers here? Yes, everyone has already done. I'm gonna eat the durian. Uh, what's this called? Uh? Durian. Cheesy 7 durian. Uh, I believe this is the durian. No, no. Not bad. No. It's nice. It's quite sweet. Mm. Quite fragrant. No? Like, I think the moment we open the box, you can smell it. Right? It's not that overpowering. Like, it's not as strong as the smell. When you first open, right? Mm, Very yeah. easy. Honestly, it somehow complements each other, right? The taste. I don't know them shop. Yeah. I really don't shop. Yeah. I thought I thought the cheese. Hey, I like durian. I know you don't like. Let me try anything like this. It's essentially very sweet, and I'll give it a good. Uh, Give me 7.5 out of 10. It's a cheese 7. Cheese 7. Oh, no. yeah, give me 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's good, it's good. Mmm! The cheese just yeah. mm. It's so shook. Sure. It's very garlicky also. Yeah. No, it's so good. It's like garlic bread with cheese oh, on pizza. No, I want to eat food, but I still eating my ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I can only eat this one. So, I went to Tapao. And today, I, I got a feel for soup. But then, soup dishes are pretty um. They are made with like pork rib, but... So, you know what I do? <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, I got my Saifan also. Guys, I just want to say that I'm really very happy that the vegetarian diet allows me to drink bubble tea. Because you can still take your dairy products like your milk, cheese and everything. So that means I can still drink bubble tea and Milo and ice cream. Crispy roast pork that I cannot eat. I'm sad. Me. I need to be vegetarian. 
Are you gonna cook for me? <laughs> Why don't laugh? Kimchi every day. <laughs> Actually, if it's a 72 hour eat kimchi every day, I probably can. Mushroom, okay, 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 okay. I'll cook mushroom pasta then. I feel like I cooked mushroom pasta for an ebook video before. Kimchi pancake for dinner. So I'm inside of vegetarian gyoza. I don't know why I have vegetarian gyoza, but it was in the freezer, so that's good for this challenge, I guess. The soup, you never put beef stock or anything, right? No. Okay. Just checking. It can be least. <laughs> the soup, I put it can be least. It's failed! Okay, I'm just gonna eat it without drinking the soup. And I'm going to have some food. And here is what I will be having. As you can see, it's uh, rice with the walama and the veggies, and also sambal goreng and an egg that I uh, fried myself quite poorly done. There. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm very hungry. So even though it might not be the healthiest version of veggies, but at least I'm eating them. And I would like to thank the producers of the 72 Hours Eat Veggies Challenge because ever since then, I have been eating veggies. And that is a very good uh, development, a character development in my life. Thank you. Yeah, but the sad thing is, as you can see, there are other dishes. There's a rendang, there's uh, some beef gravy, I think. And then there's also like uh, black sotong. Oh, finally, black sotong. This would have been useful in my black food challenge. Where were you? Where were you during the challenge? And look at this. I just realized uh, every other time I want to book, I'm cooking fried rice. Eh. Even for 72 hours, I'm making fried rice. Eh. Fish sauce, soya sauce. And the rice green starts jumping like this, it means that it's done. This is my dinner for day one. A very simple egg fried rice, veggie soup that is made from vegetable stock. I dig out some stuff from my fridge and I found out that I have tofu and I have mushroom. So I will be making. Mapo tofu. Okay, here's the end product. It looks pretty not bad. Promising. It's like a mountain of tofu right beside me. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's Oa Miswa. Not mine, not mine. And then she. <laughs> I also want to eat fried chicken. I mean, it's too nice. I like, to, I like to eat mapo tofu. Just that the only thing missing here is all the minced meat. <laughs> Currently, I'm panting a bit because I just uh, finished my workout. Actually, I'm quite surprised because I thought that if I were not to eat meat, right, that I would just be a vegetarian and then when I exercise and work out, I would feel very, very tired. I feel not too bad. I don't really feel the difference. So yeah, just a quick update. So I'm eating yu tail for breakfast because it's just dough. And I'm drinking Milo in my wine. You ever eat this morning? You tell, you tell. You tell is vegan. Are you vegetarian? Ah, but then it's only dough leh! What? I'm very hungry. As you eat, I was hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Leah, for offering me some breakfast. Actually, at... to be honest, I offer her one bite, but she's like, I'll split half with you outside. Oh, one shit, bite. okay. One bite, one bite! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Aww. Okay, it's day 2 lunch today and since I'm at home, I'm going to be cooking my lunch. I am going to make Hafiza's kimchi fried rice. The smell of the kimchi has risen a bit. I can smell the fragrance filling up the air. So what I'm going to do now is add the rice. Uh, I can't multitask, so I'll get back to you later. Sorry. Look at this egg. So much better than yesterday's egg. But yeah, I fried another egg. I am having porridge with a big fat piece of Thai style omelette right here. On a day-to-day -day basis, right, I don't even eat meat for lunch. So this is basically it lah. And sometimes I will probably pop a tea break in between now and dinner. And that'll probably be bread also. The tough part will be for dinner because I'm actually heading out tonight. I want to get ramen, but how to eat ramen that is full of vegetables? Okay, so apparently this is Bolin's dead store. So I'm gonna eat this vegetarian food today. This is my lunch. It's a spring roll, curry thai and cauliflower. This popia thing is damn nice. And I don't feel sad that there's no meat. I'm telling myself that I don't feel sad. I think it's fine. So I'm on my way home after my shoot in office. 
and I'm gonna be trying this vegetarian shop that's like super famous apparently and it's just opposite my house Okay, so here's my sesame chicken rice. I guess it's supposed to be the chicken. It's like mushrooms and cucumber, which I don't eat. Oops! I think the taste-wise is not bad. The sesame sauce is actually quite fragrant. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm done with work and I'm on the way to Somerset to eat dinner with my friend and I also have another friend here! I'm out at South Singapore with my friends now and I'm having... Wait, wait, wait. It is not ramen. It is... Udon! I am having it with a side of pumpkin and mixed vegetables tempura. Why is it so easy? Very hard, man. Look at what I've got. Some butter naan and some potato korma. One thing I hate most is peas. Chick peas. Uh. Wow. They don't belong anywhere, man. Especially in fried rice also. Or even this potato thing. But the potatoes look good, man. Okay, so it's day two dinner and I'm out for dinner with my friends. So what I'm gonna eat today is mala. Yeah, I eat mala in every single 72 hours. Somebody commented that I saw it. <laughs> and then I wanted to say, I don't know what this is, but it looks like fake prawn. It just tastes like fish cake. I don't fish cake. I feel like their mala no cake. Eh. My house mala, we cook like more spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna get a 6 inch parmesan oregano and um, egg mayo. Okay, so I'm eating Samui. Samui. Egg mayo. Can you hear me? I don't know. Oh, hi, Leo. It's my friend. They're gonna dance. I'm so dark because I'm not shy. Not shy. Not me. Not shy. Not shy. It's time for some dessert. I can eat durian ice, right? It's vegetarian, so. Okay, good morning. It's finally the last day and for breakfast today, I'm gonna be eating some Ta-da! My mother's mooncake! Damn, throwback to last year's 72 hours challenge. Good morning, it's day 3 of the challenge. I am actually starving. I'm looking at delivery online because um, there's no food at home that I can eat that is vegetarian friendly. And I'm too lazy to cook and I haven't been feeling great recently so I just wanna order something and be happy with what I eat. So I'm currently at a vegetarian place and what I'm having is vegetarian mala. Maybe the mala smell is not that strong but I think it looks promising though. It's quite nice. And yeah, I've mixed everything up together and like the noodle, the different veggie and uh, plus the mock meat. I would say it's still good. This is my four cheese ravioli, yes. pumpkin soup as well as garlic bread. And I'm drinking coke because that's what I always drink. Plus watching some black clover anime. It's very very easy as the name suggests. Mm. Okay, so it's lunch time and I found something in the fridge that's suitable for vegetables. Ta-da! It's prata. And I'm gonna be also making scrambled eggs on the side together with cheese. Damn, it looks nice. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Oh my god, you know what? Eating this cheese reminds me of my day one lunch. Oh my god, the day one lunch from Pizza Hut was so good. The cheesy seven was amaze balls. Like literally amaze balls because they like, had like balls of cheese. Hi guys, I took Mendes camera because he's too shy to vlog in public. Hey. But he's currently eating an acai. I'm ball. being a basic boy having acai and a soy latte. Honestly for me right, vegetarian diet is super super easy because yo, I've been eating fried rice, I've been eating porridge and egg, I'm having acai. Vegetarian diet can actually be very healthy contrary to what people say lah. Because you know, Chinese vegetarian food always deep fried and then like chow mee fern that kind right? A bit unhealthy but yo! So it's dinner time for day 3 and to be honest, I'm not feeling that hungry yet. I just got a little lazy and what I did was I went to buy cup noodles. Oh very good at the packaging, they let me know when I'm gonna have the instant noodles after I cook it. They're gonna let me have it soon. While waiting for my cup noodle to prepare, I think just some uh, reflection. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm starting to miss the taste of meat. Not say that the challenge has been going bad, it's just that I'm quite thankful it only lasts for 3 days. Lah. Uh, I believe there are some good reasons why people do not consume uh, meat. We help the environment against animal cruelty and whatnot. So yeah, it, it feels uh, not too bad to be stepping in their shoes for these three days and experience uh, how their diet is like lah. Okay guys, it's finally the last meal of the challenge. And I'm super duper excited for my last meal because... Ta-da! 
Okay, that's a disclaimer. I'm not cheating. This is not a normal burger. It's an impossible burger. So you know, I've been craving for meat so much the past few days that I really need to like just satisfy that meat craving. I don't know if you guys tried it before, but it honestly tastes damn real, like meat. The last meal of the challenge. Now I'm having me goreng. And the best thing about this, right, is that instead of meat, the protein that they give me is tau kwa. You have carbs, you have fiber from the vegetables, and you have protein also. This has been one of the easiest 72 hours challenge that I've been on, and I'm happy that I got custard for this. I guess the only part that I don't like about this challenge, right, is that to substitute all the proteins, I've been eating a lot of eggs, and I don't like the taste of egg yolk, eh. Currently 10 50 pm and I look different because I'm gonna dye my hair. But I have not eaten dinner. I'm gonna be eating my random Subway cookie that I had since yesterday. Is that gross? Sometimes my diet be like this and I was not having a good day, so I just wanted to go home and dye and play like some Valorant, but that's besides the point. I guess for this vegetarian diet, to be honest, I haven't been like the most healthy, but I think it's a good thing that I still have like a good intake of like protein because I've taken a lot of dairy and I cannot, I really cannot give up dairy. So I think that's a good thing. So this diet doesn't really lack anything in that sense. I'm Jack now, it's about uh, 10 plus PM. I'm just so damn hungry because I only ate the cup noodles, right? And I just saw the nicest fish. I don't think I can tahan anymore and so I'm just gonna eat the fish. I'm sorry ebook book producers but I'm gonna eat the fish. Oh look at the fish. Bloop, bloop. Now when I look at menus, right, there's always like the circle, then it's like Yeah, and on a lot more um, like cafes now, mm -hmm. or different types of restaurants also, or at least having options without meat inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. I think even for fast food restaurants, there's also like mm. options, so it's not that hard to go out to eat with your vegetarian friends. When you order the cheesy salad pizza, right, mm -hmm. like, it's like vegetarian also, right? Do you see, uh, the only source of protein uh, for this one is egg and soy products. Uh. Yeah. I'm okay with soy products, uh, but I'm not okay with egg. Oh, you're not eating dairy also. Yeah, I can't drink dairy. I can't do dairy also. I don't like egg. Cause egg got the egg yolk smell. Eggy taste. Yeah, he can't take. Yeah, I don't like the egg yolk smell. Wow, right. So you know what I do with my egg? I do like the Thai style omelette, the very fluffy one. Then soya sauce, then like fish sauce. Cover the egg yolk taste that I eat that kind. Oh, you eat a fish sauce? Fish sauce is made of fish. Skills, eh? wow. I accidentally, cause what? I drink the soup already. Then I ask my whoever cooked the soup at home. I say, "Hey, this soup is vegetable stock, right? Cause it's like clear soup." She's like, "Oh, it's anchovy." Ah! Then I said, "Okay, oh. I'm not gonna drink that soup." Then I just eat the tuna. Yeah, since this is a cheesy seven pizza episode, I've got a very cheesy pickup line for uh, my man Mendon here, lah. So Mendon, if you uh, were a vegetable, I think you'd be a cucumber. <laughs> But now you're my bro, so you are more of a bro -coli. <laughs> So the punishment is to watch the rest enjoy the food from Pizza Hut or the cheaters won't be able to eat. What? I want to eat a meat one for the chicken. Which one is your favorite, Liam? Which one is your favorite? Is it I don't like any of them. <laughs> oh, easy! No! <laughs> I, it oh, was the accidental, guys! I even said that after that I won't drink the soup already. This one has meat, so I believe this is the Hawaiian cheese and pizza. So with that, uh, un Cheers. enjoy. Hey, we must closer smell, to smell. closer to yes, please. Uh, <laughs> like the other day, you already posted this on Google IG already, right? Mm -hmm. And then like after I swipe, then got the some durian kaya thing, right? The durian kaya pull apart, and the durian kaya tarts, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah! If only this one all changed to that one, ah, uh, then I can eat already. Then oh, I feel yeah, a bit more pressurized, but now I sure. We would like to thank Pizza Hut for making this video possible. So this year marks the 10th anniversary of the Cheesy 7 series and they've added something extra which is more cheese. So the new Cheesy 7 Plus 1 features a signature blend of their 7 Plus 1 cheeses on their pizza. That's not all, they also have a new Cheesy 7 Durian and Cheesy 7 Hawaiian Pizza. If you'd like to get your hands on them, check out the link in the description box down below. Thank you for watching this episode of 72 Hours. If you like this video, remember to catch our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
Bye. 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 Bye.